What's up everybody, you're watching Spaceman Reviews with your host, this guy. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. Oh yeah. I've not been on vacation. I'm, I think you're all aware by now of the crazy shit Democrats are pulling with the DNC trying to, you know, kick Joe away and then shove Kamala in its place. And uh, now they just got the worst news they ever got. Is that uh, RFK has now joined the Trump administration, now campaigning as a, a supporter for Trump. This is like the forces united. I can't believe it. Anyway, but there is bad news as well. Yeah, I know, I know, it's bad news. Uh, they just canceled the Acolyte show. No season two. Now, before before you start flipping the tables and kicking the chairs over, uh, this ain't Star Wars. It never was Star Wars. You know, when uh, Ahsoka, who I think maybe got canceled, I don't know. All this shit's getting canceled because nobody's watching it. Because nobody's buying the merchandise. Because nobody wants any of this stuff. This ain't Star Wars. There's no soul in this stuff. It's just... Diversity higher after diversity higher. Now, I know you're going to be like, oh, you bigots out there don't like fucking Star Wars. No, we don't like this Star Wars. We don't like anything, as a matter of fact, that Disney uh, shits out. So, I, I mean, the, what is this? What is this? What's with the cornrows? What's with the, what's with the dreads? I mean, it, it looks nothing like Star Wars. You throw a couple of X-wing fighters in there and just call you call anything Star Wars. Is that is that what we do? Well, I guess that's what Disney did. But uh, however, uh, it says Star Wars fans blame toxic, uh, misogynistic, immature, racist. Star Wars fans blame. No, these aren't Star Wars fans. These are psychotic fucking lefties that like stupid shit. They're not Star Wars fans. They don't buy anything. They don't they don't buy the DVDs. They don't buy the figures. They don't buy the ships. They they might buy those dildo looking lightsaber hilts they could shove up their ass. I don't know. But that shit's not Star Wars. Of course we're misogynistic. That's right. But we're not the one letting men in women's sports to get the beat up on women though, aren't we? No, we're against that. So I think we're pretty damn cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, look at this. You got to have, and, and this is no shit. They got lesbian Sith Lord witches. Lesbian Sith Lord witches. Because that's what Star Wars needs, right? But uh, before we get into some of this stuff that looks crazy, uh, make sure if you have it, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any more videos. So yeah, it says the series got pan far and wide for featuring a segment with lesbian space witches. Wow. Wow. Yeah, if you're going to make shit, then don't make it. I mean, it, unfucking believable. Lesbian space. Uh, like, uh, you give shit a lightsaber and all of a sudden it's Star Wars? No, because they have to have their empowered black women to be Jedi and to be every character in Star Wars. Well, we don't have enough bad guy, female women playing bad guy characters in Star Wars. So it's just all going to be a girl power universe. It's all women. And you know who's going to watch it? Nobody. You know who it's meant for? It's meant for nobody. That's why it's as stupid as it is. You're watching somebody's individual representation of what they think Star Wars is in their tiny little minds. Th problem is, for them, it don't work. Uh, Disney is forming committee to replace CEO Bob Iger. His days are done, but this guy's, like, rich. So, he's not, he really cares. He, this guy, this guy was the problem all along. Of course, Bob Chapek, they gotta get rid of the Bobs, man. Morgan Stanley Executive Chairman James Gorman 
uh, will lead Disney's search for a successor to Bob Iger. Choose me. I'll bring in, I'll bring in uh, George Lucas. Uh, two years after the company's longtime leader came out of retirement following a rocky transition to his hand-picked replacement. You know, correction, I don't think there's anything to do that you're going to save Star Wars. I think it's gone. It's like people, it's like if you're running a restaurant and people come in, they don't like your food. They, they don't bother to complain about your food. They just never come back. And that's just the way the Star Wars is. They're, they're not out there complaining. They might laugh at it, make posts and laugh at it. But for the most part, they're just not going to buy any of your products. All your shit's going to sit on the shelf. It's going to go from the, the toy aisle to clearance and then sold off in bulk to uh, third party companies or uh, I don't know, what, what do you, whatever you call them. Little low retail stores that will put all this shit out at almost giveaway price. People still aren't buying them. You'll see them at Ollie's. You'll see them at Ross. And they're, they're going to sit there. Uh, Ollie's has become a graveyard for Marvel and Star Wars stuff. I'm sure if you haven't, go out there and check these stores out. It ain't no joke. It's like a, it's like a tomb of uh, unwanted toys. But yeah. Though they're going to get rid of Bob Chapek. I say this shit show's had it had its shot. Nobody wants a figure of this. This bitch wearing a fucking beach towel like a Jedi rope. They don't want her. They, they, they don't want none, none of this. It ain't Star Wars. I don't care who's doing the painting. Long forgotten. Never had a chance. So, uh, yeah. Though they get rid of Bob, uh, they get rid of Bob Iger. They'll probably get rid of Kathleen Kennedy too. These people are needed to get rid of. But it's too late in a sense because they, the destruction is already there. There's no way that... They spent $4.5 billion to destroy Star Wars. Like how, the, how the fuck do you break Star Wars? And they broke it. They, bro they, they, picked, up, they picked up Star Wars. They smashed it on the floor. They laughed about it. And it's like now when their jobs are on the line, they're going to try and piece it together real quick to say that this is what we've done. Great. But they can't do it. Now they're complaining. Uh, they, they break everything and then blame us because they broke it. No. No. It's not that we're racist or misogynistic or crybabies. It's the fact that you destroyed something that meant something to a lot of people. This was the greatest franchise that was ever made. And they broke it. They spent four and a half billion dollars and got rid of it. Destroyed it. I hope it was worth it, Disney. Because Star Wars fans ain't coming back. They might buy a few things that remind them of the good times that Star Wars gave them. When it was good Star Wars and not this shitty uh, child grooming star bingers that it is today. But, yeah. You know, all that money, they just, they just might as well have set fire to it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Star Wars is gone. And it never had a chance. Well, I'm going to just make the accolade. That, nobody wanted this. That's why nobody's watching it. And they are bleeding subscribers left and right. Disney Plus is going to be a memory. Sadly, though. Other streaming channels are picking up the virus that Disney that Disney caught and they're just doing the same shit. Like Lady Jane on Amazon, they got the King of England black. They got a black King of England who's gay and disabled. Well, we got that off the check mark. We got that off the check mark. This is going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, in a few months, in a few weeks, It'll be that uh, nobody's watching the show. Well, you're racist. You can't handle a black person, a blix person being the king of England. No, it's not accurate. It's not right. Nobody wants to see your diversity shit shows. It is going to rot. Anyway, people. That's the video. If we kept updated on what's going on in a crazy world of Hollywood and Star Wars and all that is woke, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be safe. Stay safe. Be nice to each other out there in the galaxy. And uh, you'll be seeing me a little more often.
గుర్తున్నాయి